What's up, my Facebook friends? Hope everyone's having a great day. Wanted to, I got a lot of questions like, hey, how can I get started in, you know, real estate or real estate investing and all that stuff. Um, for those who follow me or talk to me, you know, they see just some of the things that I do or some of my clients do or just, you know, how we do things a little differently. So the fastest way to get started in real estate investing, if you're like just driving around randomly, so I'm going on an appointment right now, right? So I figured I'd shoot a quick video just to show you the fastest way would be to, if you're just driving around, go or go to the grocery store, take a different way to work different days, but when you, to so you expose yourself to more streets, right? And this will make sense in a minute. When you're driving around and then, okay, here's one right now. And then you're gonna find a bunch of these when you're driving around, no matter where you live. You're gonna see a house like this. Now, it has solar panels. Doesn't look that bad, right? But you're gonna just see a house like this. The grass is uncut. Maybe the roof looks bad. Let's get out so I can give you an example. Um, and don't be afraid. All you need to do is write down that address. So you're going to see a house. Okay. Obviously, if you look at the neighborhood, people cut their grass, all these houses. So for me, on an app on my phone, I can go find out how much this house is worth in two seconds. But um, for a regular person... I know that this house is, no one's living here, it's abandoned, there's probably a situation. So I'll look it up and I'll see what's going on. But for the regular person not in the industry, all you would have to do is write down the address. If you sent that to me or another, not a realtor so to speak, but any realtor investor, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug that address I'm gonna do a quick search, see what's going on. Maybe it's pre-foreclosure, foreclosure. You know, it could be anything. But I can go ahead and skip trace that address and get the sellers, whoever owns the house, I can get their phone number, their house phone number, their cell phone number, their email address in many cases. And I can start a conversation and see what's going on. And for anybody, if you see houses like that and you want to get involved, just send it to me. I don't care where it is. As long as it's in the United States of America, you know, there's a way to make money on it and you can get paid. Um, you can get paid. That's called bird dogging and you get paid big finder's fees for finding properties like that. It's a real job. So, and anybody can do it. And guess how much it costs you to do that? zero dollars so people are like oh to be a real estate investor i have to spend you know hundreds of thousands of dollars marketing a year well in a lot of cases that can be true if you want to operate on such a high level but you got to start somewhere the best way to start is drive around and look for houses that look like the one i just showed you and if you're just jumping on now watch the beginning of this video I'm sharing with people how you can get started in real estate investing if you literally know nothing about anything with zero dollars you can just start by driving around and I gave an example of a house I just happened to drive by that had overgrown grass and just looked like something's going on so all we do is you send that to me We'll get it skip traced. We'll take a look at the value, see what's going on with the situation of the house. And um, we can contact the seller, see if they're interested in selling. Clearly they don't want the house. They're not maintaining it, not taking care of it. And it does not look like anybody's living there. And um, definitely looks abandoned. You, look, you don't have to even get out of your car. You just see it right down the address. It doesn't cost that much money for me to do research and get all that information um, on the actual seller, get their cell phone number, email address, home phone number, all of that. So that's called, there's a technical term for it, driving for dollars. And that's how a lot of people get started in making money in real estate, and you can too. 
Um, so drive around, take a different route to the grocery store, different route to work, do, do a different little route every day, cover more ground. Those houses that you see that look like they might be in distress, write down the address. At the end of the day, maybe you have two, three houses, send them over. Um, at the end of the week, you could have at least, you know, a dozen houses is not uncommon. Send them over. Chances are those people, you know, don't know what to do. Don't assume they know what to do. You know, we could help them avoid foreclosure. Maybe they inherited a house they're not sure what to do with. Maybe realtors said they got to do 15 different things before they could put it on the market and sell it and they don't want to do that. There's a lot of different, and then someone like me can come in pay cash for the house and flip it. Or even if it's not in an area I've never been to before, get the information, find their motivation, find out how much they want, and then just connect with my network of real estate investors all across the United States and find someone who will pay them what they want. It's not that hard. We are not, it's not rocket science, but I can teach you how to do it. So anybody who's interested, just shoot me a message. But if you come across properties, just let me know. And um, it's a way to make some extra side money by just driving around. You're driving around anyways, you might as well get paid to do it. And if it's for people that are have some interest in real estate, you know, if you hate houses and don't care, you know, maybe it's not for you. But if it's something you're always like, you like watching HDTV, you like that stuff, you know, it might make sense to, you know, jump on see a house that looks like it needs some work send it over can't hurt you get paid big money when you find these houses if a deal gets done um, you know people can make six figures a year just driving around for what I just said in their part-time you know there is some uh, you know good amount of money that could be made doing that every finders fee can count so it counts for something so that is the best quickest easiest cheapest way with absolutely no experience or no knowledge of really anything to get involved in real estate investing. So it's just called driving for dollars. So if anybody has any questions on that, or you find any properties, uh, shoot them over to me. We'll uh, you know, jump on a call and uh, share with you exactly what I do, how I do it with that. And um, you know, if there's a deal there, I'll let you know. And uh, we'll get it assigned out and get it get it sourced depending it doesn't matter the location guys it really doesn't matter the location the services we use it's easy to find the value of a home across the United States and um, it's really easy to then take that information if it looks like something that is available we will uh, you know go ahead skip trace it, talk to the seller find out what the situation is what's going on and you're actually helping people so not only do you get to make money you get to help people so uh, for people that are just jumping on, it's just called driving for dollars, the cheapest way to make money in real estate with no experience. So, but uh, I encourage you to watch the beginning of the video. I showed a live example of one I just happened to come across, which is what prompted me to jump on the live to do this. So if you have any questions, reach out. Hope everyone's having a great day.